Hello everyone and welcome to episode 35 and in this episode we are lucky enough to be able to try out any do's web client and I recently just actually just did in episode 33 so only two episodes ago created a specific iOS version and review of what I think of any do and I, I and I continue to stick to my word. AnyDo seems like a really fantastic application. It's very simple, intuitive, and just kind of breaks free from a lot of others um, that focus very hardcore. So as you can see, this is the web version. Um, basically, has the same sort of layout as the iOS version, um, also the same sort of animations too. Um, but it's very beneficial that people know that what you can do with this kind of thing is that you can bring them cross-platform. So I'm just logging in in the background to the iOS version of AnyDo. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to test out how fast the system is at allowing you to basically add tasks and information. So if I were to able to add a task, um, ooh, I'm just going to try and add one to YouTube. Um, so let's say, uh, hello, YouTube as a task. I don't know why that would be a task, but um, anyway, I'm just putting it in now on the iPhone. So it should pop up, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply refresh the web client and just test out how fast the functionality is. Okay, so we seem to have a little slow rendering. Um, let's just go into the YouTube one and see whether it's popped up. Okay, for some reason, the YouTube one has not popped up yet. Um, let me just give it a retry and see what is happening. Um, so any do for web does look exactly like the iOS. If you haven't watched the iOS review yet, um, it's definitely there um, on my YouTube account. Uh, for some reason, we're not having any success with the syncing. Okay, so it's not a great start, but we will continue. So you can do the same sort of functionality on your uh, web version. I think the web version looks a little more intuitive. So if I said uh, I want to catch a fish, let's just say, um, and then let's throw in a fish emotion from the top uh, just for effect. Lovely there. Okay, so I'm going to add that task, and that is now in the um, that is now in the all on today. So what I can do with this is once I've got it up here, it's almost like Trello. I can drag it across and bring it into the other kind of sections of the thing. Additionally, I can kind of go a bit deeper. I can add subtasks, so like hello, um, and the subtasks are quite important. They're quite easy to add to, um, just a very simple, uh, intuitive ways to add them. You can add notes and information, so hello three, um, Bob. Yeah, and then um, from here, it should save it. Yeah, there are the notes, there's the subtasks. You can also attach stuff. And I don't see any, um, if I, let me just test this out. Let me just throw in an image that I've got um, and then see whether we've got a, um, let's see whether we've got a useful, okay, let's just, yeah, let's just throw my podcast one in um, for example. Yeah, so I thought you had to have premium for this. It doesn't seem like you have to. You can also share it directly um, as that specific task. So that's fantastic. I've already got a lot of context around that. So if I go into personal, I'll be able to see that task. I'm just going to jump over to my iOS device and see whether I've already got it on here. So I'm just going to refresh the page. Going into personal, I want to catch a fish is there. It's got four bits of information around it. Yes, I can see all the information. I wish I could show it to you. It's very... It's actually very snappy. I'm not sure why it didn't do it both ways. So that kind of context has become pretty useful when I'm in here. The next thing you can do is um, is do the same sort of functionality, sync now. And sync now does bring the stuff in. So I wasn't syncing now, and that's probably why it didn't bring it in. So I'm just going to click that when it's done, and then I'll get rid of it. So you can also add a little bit of priority. So within your lists, um, you don't get this on the one on the iOS application. I'm not sure about Android. But you can add how the priority works here. Also, again, you can see your upcoming ones and also your now ones too, um, and then your most important one. So that's quite important. I would just want to go into Go Premium. So adding recurring tasks is an option on Premium. 
sharing tasks is an option on premium and it joins unlimited file sizes is a, is a benefic- benefit one and also making the most of your list. So now all the stuff that's included in premium. Uh, but I think this is such a simple application, especially when you're kind of on the computer and you're like firing away and you're like, oh, blah, 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 blah. And you need to do it fast and you can choose the specific times you do it in. Um, and that's useful as well. It's very beautiful web app. I use the web. I use a Chromebook a lot. Um, you can also set the occurrence of tasks. But I, again, I think that's premium. So if I just try, yep, yeah, see, I've tried around. It won't let me. So I, at any do, if you're listening, drop me premium. I will definitely do a further review on it. So as you can see, the web app is very simple. Um, oh, it's forty percent off. So the web app's very simple. It's like the iOS version. I think it's a lot more detailed. Actually, I think it's a lot more detailed. Um, and I think that's pretty useful when it comes to trying to do stuff like that. So uh, overall, my opinion is very strong of this. Um, I like what it's done. Um, I like how simple it is. And they've done a really good job in making it very easy to use on the web. And I think that's something that um, Todoist needs to do. But I think they are working on it. I've heard they're working on Android. I've heard they're doing that. If they can make it s- something similar to this, that's very, it feels very, if you look, get Trello up, uh, then we can get Trello up and see. Um, it kind of looks like Trello. Um, I think it's just literally the card fa- interface that looks like Trello. Um, uh, I won't log in. I'll, I'll log into Trello just to get it as a version to have a little sneaky peek of what it looks like. Yeah, it, it very much looks like Trello, uh, just obviously whiter version. I kind of like this. I really do like this. Um, the way you can kind of view everything. It's kind of all on the same page attraction. I like that. Um, and I think it does a good job. I'm just m- muttering now. Um, absolute nonsense. But thanks very much, guys. And make sure to have a great week and keep productive. I'll see you in episode 36.